Okay, so yes, first things first, I got a haircut. That's it. Okay, ignoring that for the rest of the video. Um, mm, okay, real quick. Seems like shit that pissed me off. So, we're gonna rant about it. For those who don't know, which is probably most of you, I fucking hate Battle Royale games. Most specifically, I hate Fortnite and PUBG. Anything beside those two, I'm cool with. This is why. One, the content of the game. Daisy, H1Z1, and the other games to name I don't remember, those are all considered Battle Royale games. Even though, Daisy, for an example, the standalone version, yes, there are zombies in it. It's crafting, there are materials, you can build bases. But the premise of the game is the same. Drop fucking, I think, 80 players into a map. See who the fuck survive. If you die, you're dead. That's basically permadeath. You have to restart from the beginning. The same thing as most Battle Royale games. The difference is that instead of just, hey, let's throw 100 players into this lobby and see what happens, there's actually more thought process and safety issues that come with it. When you play H1Z1 before they split the Battle Royale mode away from the base game, it was the same thing. It was a survival game at heart. That's what Battle Royale games were supposed to be. It's not let's throw 100 players into a lobby. See, everyone that dies from the first 10 minutes of the game, or first 5 minutes if you're in a good lobby, did absolutely shit with their lives, didn't accomplish anything at all. And then you have... Pretty much the next 50 players who are all killing each other. The only people that actually get any recognition or anybody people actually care about is those left like the top, maybe top 20, top 10. Um, top 20, I have 100 players. Like, that's some good shit, though. <laughs> um, but no, I fucking despise. If Fortnite hadn't split its game into two separate modes, and it still would have been labeled as Battle Royale game, I would have been okay with that. Battle Royale is not the premise of you have to have 100 players versus, a, versus each other without any other obstacles in the world. Because all the premise is, is that you have players that are against each other in a world that's basically permadeath. That's what it is. It doesn't matter the player count itself, because I'm pretty sure Battlefield and fucking Battlefield 4 is... Uh, Firestorm is not going to be permadeath. I haven't played Blackout yet, nor I really don't care to. It's going to have some premise difference. Because the genre is defined by the games that they're surrounding. The main issue with it is... It's lazy to make. It's lazy to play. Those games have less appeal than Call of Duty. And Call of Duty has been doing the same shit for almost 15 years. So, yeah. Yeah. They're a trend. They're not something that's actually popular. Fortnite's free. Why do you think it blew up? Fortnite's not a good game. It's repetitive as hell. And the only thing that really changes about it is the skins. They're trying to give the world some dynamic, but really, that didn't change the gameplay at all. You destroyed the same city twice and brought it back, but when I see people on fucking Twitch still playing it, that city's still there for you to land in, so it's not like it actually means shit. Yeah, you expanded the map a little bit, but you still have the end area where everyone has to go and fight it out at and it becomes a small-ass circle. Which, gameplay perspective, I can understand why. Also, gameplay perspective, if you have something else to do besides just kill the players in the game with you, you wouldn't need to rush the game to the point that you have to have a circle that determines when the match is over with. The storm killing people is, in a lot of regards, unfair because depending on where you spawn at, or not where you spawn, where you land at, that can be seen as... A punishment because you want to land someplace that's not necessarily conventional. Uh, that just didn't happen a few times before. And yeah, that's just about it. My main issue with them from a gameplay perspective is the repetitive. Yes, Call of Duty is repetitive. Call of Duty is repetitive as hell. 
But Call of Duty branched out different games, different genres, not different genres, but uh, different time frames, which brought different weapons, which brought different play styles. I mostly played them for their campaigns, so it didn't really give a shit to me. Uh, campaign and zombies is what I mostly played Call of Duty for. I did play for multiplayer, that's why I fucking used to quick scope the fuck out of people. Marvel for 3, Marvel for 2, that was my shit. But also, I'm not spending from where I played a Fortnite 10 minutes waiting to get queued into a server. And granted, I'm pretty sure Fortnite's a lot faster than that now. But a lot of free games, they have their rough issues in the beginning. But yeah, Fortnite and PUBG have the sex appeal of mayonnaise and the enjoyment of. Shit, I hear things that's not that's that boring though. I could say I have the enjoyment of watching clothed porn, but I'd say at least you get something out of that. You don't get anything out of Battle Royale games. If Fortnite wasn't free, Battle Royale would still be dead. Except for the fact that PUBG requires a little bit of my skill and the fact that you know, it's somewhat realistic, except for that frying pan bullshit. But, you know, it was funny, so they kept it in the game. And you can actually buy a fucking PUBG frying pan right now, which I'm pretty sure some dumbass is going to go do. But, I don't want to draw this video out too long. Uh, this is just a single, standalone rant by itself. I could talk about a plethora of different topics right now, but I don't give a shit to do so. Because, one, it's late as hell. Two, I'm about to start playing a game with some people. And three, because I can. So, um, sorry, real quick thing though. About the audio quality in the last video, that is due to the fact of my actual gaming headset's currently broken. Uh, the one I used to record my videos with, that's currently broken, so I'm using earbuds to basically make up for that. But, yeah. So, deuces. Hope you have a good day. I wish you all a good night. And farewell on your adventures.